out the, the phones to work properly at, at your place. I'm go, I've got to bring telecoms and uh, Vodafone to, to um, see what boost I need to make the signal work because the codes are going to sort that out. I, I should be up later in the afternoon. I'll, I'll get that and the flag sorted and um, uh, make sure the, uh, the, the phones are going to work properly when I come up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what that's what's the problem. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, so that's what's right, wrong. I can't connect um, uh, connect up through because the code. I have to run up the road and get it each time, mm. and, and to make the to make the Gmail work and and the. The, because of safety thing, and that's why I, I haven't done it. Because by the time I get back from getting the code up the road, the bloody thing's gone off. Yeah, because if, if you don't get it in time, it'll shut off. So I'm I'm sorting that out now. When I come up, it'll it won't have the problem anymore. And and the mobile okay. mobile will. Are you back up in Auckland? Yeah, yeah. I stayed here overnight to have a to have a rest because it was a long drive. And I uh, didn't want to run off the bloody road. I had, I had to pull off and tie up, we have a sleep, have a feed and have a sleep and, and, and before I carry on. I just, yeah, yeah, because my boy said, don't try and drive you can, and you're not off. Um, and, and, and that's what happened. And I get tired, I'll pull over on the road. Well, I did the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I stay here to, to, because it was too long a, to go up there uh, in one hit, uh, and I was too tired. Um, um roughly what time do you think you'll be back up here? Oh, about, maybe about four, four or five o'clock. Oh, no, I'll be home then, because I'm, I'm waiting for many hours to come down and I'm, I'm going to finish off her run, then I'll take it back up. Oh, yeah, no, I'll just make sure I'll, I'll, I'll pick up some Kentucky Fried. And I'll pick up her, her thing, her, her, her hot dog, at the same time today, because I've got to go to Manukau City to get this part at Spark. And, oh, yeah. and for the phones, I've got to get the phones right, that's the problem. No, 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 no that's good, you do those. Mm, I'll make sure. Do those? Yeah, I'm going to do it now, I'm doing it when they open up. No, and you've got money to do those things. Yeah, yeah, there's enough in that money, there's enough um, to do everything, and oh, uh, it cover the flags and everything. So uh, I'll pick those up at the same time, I'm going to order them afterwards, so that's why I hung back to uh, do everything here and have a rest and... Yeah, no, it'll, yeah, there's enough yeah, to do it. Enough, yeah. There's enough yeah. to do it. Yeah, no, there's enough to do it. Oh, there's enough to do it. Yeah, mm. but they they, they 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 didn't have anything at Tatima, right? It was all up on the other side, and so it was it was Titi Kingi and them had to accept that the, the treaty is going to be the the Waitangi Day is going to be on the other side, and not at Titi anymore. That's the part that Titi is written right off now. Is that right? Yeah, that's what's happening now. That they've accepted that. And when they went down to the Whakaminia, the Ratna and, and Labour made an agreement that they'll do the Treaty of Waitangi Day at, on the other side, not at Titi anymore. That was on the news, that's what I read into. Uh, so it's, it's a different ball game now. That's why Bundy pulled out, that's why Bundy pulled out, because he, he was hoping to do his authority from Titi Marae, that's why he took off, because he didn't want to go on the other side. You'll find they'll be crawling back to you before long. 
about yeah. them. Yeah. No, we're not going to worry about them. We just worry about your business. Yeah, yeah. And getting, just getting, get getting yeah, bec because like that's right. That's why I didn't want to have anything. Well, yeah, I, I couldn't be a killer. Bloody damn, what they're doing anymore? Yeah. 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 I'm not worried about them. Yeah. No, they're out of it now, as far as I'm concerned. The, the, I've cut off everything from Tahiki Marae. It's it's done deal. And it's good that I came back through Pohara Marae at Waikato for that other chief to join it up to you. Now, all that's on video now. I've videoed the whole mountain and 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 the Marae, and I spoke to those people over there. So I have to open up, one day I'll have to open up that as a... Uh, um, uh, native magistrate court the same as Taheke. That that's where my father in law comes from. The house is still there but I've got to do it all up, get it all done up. The house is falling apart. Um so that's I'll show you that when I come up. Uh, the videos that I did of that rock, there's a big rock, that's the memorial there to that Monga Totori that they've stolen. And they said those ladies said, No, Tainui put that Marae up, the Monga Totori mount and um, Maunga Totori Marae is not the real Marae. I said, yeah, you're right. See, it's all falling back to these three chiefs. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. That's how, that's where we're heading. Yep, yeah, it's big time. That's the British title. That, that, that memorial rock to that hill is a big rock beside the Marae. That's the memorial to that Waikato chief that they pinched, Teta Waikato up in Natsvatu. They're going to go for a skate after this lot, after they see this on YouTube. I made 20 videos there of that whole marae and everything and that hill from different angles on the hill and and to plug that with yours. Those two chiefs and that the referee for Manukau and the flag. The referee for Manukau and the flag. That's it. That's the title for the whole of the world native titles. Right there. In rock. In rock, the big rock of the bottom of the Mangatotari mountain. They've turned it into a reserve, shut the gates off, shut everybody from getting to there. Only for Pakihas. It's going to be changed soon, the gate will be open. And that lady said, the old lady said, oh, they went to put a road around to get to the top of the mountain. They, they tried to stop them. Well, in fact, they just blasted a road up to the, the mountain, past, past the Urupa. They, they were told not to go past the Urupa. I passed Tira Wakato's Urupa. They, they just bust the road through. So that's an issue. The same as you, what they've done over Kuri, the Kuri's land. See? So it's all looking good in our direction. I don't think so either. I don't think they were going to let them. That's what I said. That's what I said to you. I'd be surprised if they let them put it up. And that's all they were spouting about. Put her own them and, and, and Bundy them were going to put it up. It didn't happen. That's, well, I don't know yet until I hear from from them, yeah, from money yeah, or somebody. But I'm just staying clear, like, like like you. I'm staying clear because it's none of our business what they do. It's all of our business, us, what I and you do, and there's nobody else in it. That the end of that lot. See? That's the way it's looking online now in front of them. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it, legally, until we hear back out from our lawyer. We, we just play patience with him. He's taking his time to, to look over things, and he's going to be very, very vigilant on what we are saying. See? Because he's part of the British side of it. So he's doing a double-take check on everything I've written for you and Horitakuri and me and the Manukau. And this will finish it off when he sees these videos. It's clear-cut videos because I'm just uploading them now. That's why I've hung back to upload them. And the photos, all the photos I took yesterday. When I went up there, I went up to the, the side roads of the mountain on, 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 the, on the track to go and film, them, film the hill. That's our main title to Britain, there. And you're one up there with Tahiki. Those two are the... the, the foregoing conclusion of all the native indigenous titles in the world are those two memorials. See? So, so that's us in our little uh, realm uh, to finish off when I come up, but I want to make sure the phones are going to work this time. 
Mm. That's with Spark and Vodafone, because then she'll be able to ring on her Vodafone from there to her work on her the the works phone and and the other Vodafone you've got here. I've got the phones here that I'm do, I'm, I'm I'm clicking up with with Vodafone and, and Spark from my place. Oh, did they send the phone? No, that one hasn't come. I've got to check up on it. It's gone astray. But I'm saying the other one we bought for you, that, that Vodafone one. I'm checking up today on, 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 on Vodafone's reception of, of that area for the, for the mobile phones to make sure they work. So, so we need those uh, to make the, make the um, Gmail and, 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 and Facebook and everything else work. Because it locked me out, locked, locked both computers out from getting in. That's a safety feature if anybody scams you or Mary Ann's computer. I have to make sure that our business stuff doesn't get scammed out. Oh, I'll wait till you get back this afternoon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll text you before I come up so you know when I'm coming and and I can bring, bring some kai. Oh, yeah, right. I'll, bring, I'll, I'll go and get Mary Ann's um, hot dogs while I'm out in Manukau City and then I'll pick, right. I'll pick up the, the Kentucky on the way out. Okay? Okay, see you later. There, that's uh, um, Morris, Mr. Morris, the mayor of Tahi, down Baker Street, calling me up. And just checking, so I've got his new vehicle, Mary, Mary Ann's new vehicle, and I'm taking for a little spin around the block. I went round up up this hill, Mangatotali Hill, on, on the road, side roads, around Pohara Marae. I tell you, that's the main marae. I've got it from the old ladies themselves. I've got it on this GoPro and this camera here. <laughs> I was looking for it. It's there. So I'm going to upload 20 videos of this camera, the Canon camera, plus this one. There's 21 videos attesting and proclaiming or claiming the title of Hori Takuri from Tahege Marae in the Hokianga of all the northern region down to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helenville and Referefa Manukau from there through to the Manukau area of title and then down to Mangatauteri Mountain in Pohara, Marae. Well, really, the original name of that Marae was Punga Punga Marae. That's its original name. Punga Punga Marae, Spirit Rock. So Punga Punga Rock, that's what that rock is, next to the Marae. Spirit of Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau's tribal hapū name was Punga Punga. There. Yeah. Okay, so that's my father-in-law, Peter Mehinui, told me all these stories. He's from Okarari, but that's his mountain, and that's his marae, the land of Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau. It's the whole of the country. That's, that's it. The whole country he signed with King George IV to sell the whole lot because the British were going to take it anyway. It was an insurance against anybody as third parties to the two-party contract that I'm the executor of. That's why I'm going back there to open up that 13th marae as a native magistrate court with the chiefs who I choose. It can't be anyone in the trusts on the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria side. It can't be any of those. It has to be anybody but that. So I'm going to call on the Winnikiris in the uh, Totes, or anyone else for that matter, who can step up. Just the same as Morris Baker. These are commercial landowners. They have, a, have, a, have to have a deed. Somebody is holding a deed that's not affected by the Crown Corporations of Wellington and New South Wales, Australia. All those titles under Te in Ngāti Whātua are corrupted. They cannot come in with those deeds on the British deed titles. It has to be someone in Pohara, in the Waikato region, with a deed title unaffected 
of British title. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll find that title, and that person will be a commercial landowner from Britain direct. Okay, I'll find it on the titles. I'll find it on the titles, the Maori Land Court titles. I'll spend a bit of time when I go back to Morris's, that's my other house, my home, <coughs> from here. So I'm fixing up our phones. We've got other four phones that needs connecting up with better reception in the remote area of Taheke Road, Taheke Horeke Road, in Hokianga, uh, west of Kaikoui, at least 15 minutes out. Towards the west, you'll find Taheke Village, and Mr. Morris Baker, who picker, as it is, it doesn't matter what names are indigenous or European, as long as they've got a deed live, still in British title, or converted from Maori land courts into British title, and holding a name of a tūpuna. That's all I need, one, in the Waikato region of Pohara, Mangatotiri Mountain. Anyone in that area, if you've got a deed title, Pākehā or Maori, give it to you. I will look at it and put your name on the list as being second party to a British King George IV and Tira Waikato Wharehere Manukau, Paramount Chief of that Mangatotiri Mountain and Pohara, Punga Punga Marae and the rock, Punga Punga Rock. Punga Punga Tira Waikato Rock Memorial to him. Okay, got that? That's the land memorial title. I've got the Moai statue memorial title in all the powerful countries in the world from East Island. And that Marae, believe it or not, the Whare is called Rangiatea. Rangiatea is the name on the Moroi. Whare Nui. That's the meeting house. Right? Eh? You know what that means? Easter Island, Raiatea Island, and Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui to Mokonui at the East Cape on my land box. Marangai Roa, land box of Marangai Roa, Marae. Tiararoa, East Coast. The Wa Noa Hapu comes from Raya Tea and Rapa Nui Islands. Okay? And that's why that name Rangi Atea is on that Marae as being the Mana Fenua of that Maunga Totari mountain and that rock memorial standing right beside it. Now I was told <coughs> um, by the ladies, Donna's mother, that the Mangatotari Marae on the flats in Cambridge is Tainui's title is not true, it's not the right Marae. They were saying, it's up on the mountain. I said, yes, I always knew that from Peter Mayhew, my father-in-law from Okarari. But his house was right beside the rock. They shifted it to where it is and it's perfect condition of the framework. It's square. Nothing wrong with the timber. It's just all the bees and the possums have got in the house. So I'm going to strip it out, put a budget on that to make it the best looking house in the area and more projects that are going to happen there when I go there for Hui to turn it into a native magistrate court with that house Boo Pung Punga Punga Rock Memorial that's why Peter Mihinui put it beside the rock that's why he put it there to claim Mangatotari Mountain back to the Moriori Hapu, Punga Punga, Hapu. They shifted it, someone shifted it to the back. It should have stayed right there.
but the family had no money to put it there. So what instead will go there is a memorial building with the memorial stone right there, the big rock, and a building specially for Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau Moriori Paramount Chief. It's going to be one hell of a budget to put together for completely renovating the whole area. I'm putting the budget together for all of that and the mountain. The mountain, all those people who are living there are tenants right now under King William IV Crown Land Patents title of his brother King George IV and that Paramount Chief Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau Got it? Have you got that? And his descendant, Reif Reif Manukau, signed with John Rogan in Aurora Native Magistrate Court Bank in Helensville, 10 acre block. That's where all the 10 acre block business came from, of dividing all the Maori lands. That's the Queen's title. This is the King's title I'm talking about. That goes right above them with the flag. The 1834 Declaration of War on Third Parties flag, Sovereign Authority Jurisdiction of Admiralty of King William IV, following his brother in 1820 to 1830 period of King George IV and King William IV, 1830 to 1837 period, the period that Ref Ref Manukau took hold of that flag as his title, private contract to Westminster Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court where all the titles are and the birth certificates under St Mary's Church are there too. Link that to King William III, the creator of the Bank of England and the Power Note Act and the eight point star on our flag of municipalities, the collection of rents, rates, fines and administrative costs that's built into that flag of those three kings, emperors of the commercial contracts world, trading bank flag, and us, the native, the three chiefs. Te Rewakato Wharehere in Manukau, Refref Manukau, and Horitikuri from north. That's it. That's it. Add to that Moai crown. Memorial, standing in Dunedin with a hat on his head, the crown. That's our crown on this country. And the Moai in Auckland with his head chopped off and no crown taken off. That's our title to Britain, England. The Moai standing in London, in Queen Elizabeth Great Court, will be King William IV Great Court before long. Back into the King's Bench Magistrate Court. Okay, so I'm just talking from experience as an executor of the Manukau Trust, the Moriori Manukau Trust, and Horitikuri Memorial Trust. That's Morris Baker representing that, and his ancestor, William <coughs> B. Baker, <coughs> resident magistrate at Rangitukia, the 1823 period to 1852 to 1862, sorry. Native Land Act of New Zealand, Ref Ref Manukau and John Rogan signed a contract, sale and purchase agreement of Pukekoe Ue Tawa. That title on 11th of November 1862 formed the basis of the New Zealand Native Land Act right through the world. Okay, so I'm talking direct to you as a descendant bloodline of Uetaha. You see the name Uetaha chief from East Cape on the Marangaro land rocks and the Waipu district area, county, Waipu County and Uetaha for Potikirua Ki Waipu boundary areas of East Cape, Rangitubia, Tikitiki, Maraihara, Whakangiangi, Rokomara Range, um, Higurangi Mountain, um, Kopoponamu, Karakatafero, Karakatafero, Punaruku, Potaka, K 
Hib ran away. Midway. Matakawa. Higgs Bay. Punaruku. Uruida. Te Araro. And Fana Okena Island. And the Rome Ferry Bank, where we're going to put the Moai Powerhouse turbines in the sea. Okay? That's our title. That's the title that I'm executor of for that chief, Uataha, and those two Manukau chiefs, and Hori Takuri. I'm covering him as executor as well. The administrator, Morris Baker, is picking up on his title, Deeds. And I'm holding the deeds for the Manukau title and the Moai titles right through the world with our flag of King William IV, 1834, 20th of March, 1834, gave us that flag for the commercial trading bank private contract. Nobody's business but ours. So that's what I want to say. I'm back from Palmas North yesterday and putting together our um, videos that I took of Mangatotiri Mountain yesterday on Waitangi Day, the 6th of February, just to note that that's when I made the decision on that mountain and the Marae to claim that title off Tainui and everybody else that's fabricated and corrupted it. And I'm putting the titles back where it belongs to the right people on that Marae. I know who they are. I know who they are from the names. Tote, Winikiri, in Mihinui. Those three names I'll go with. So now, the history, it's up to you to refute what I'm saying on these videos. At least 20 of them here, that the story I'm going to say about them is true, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. It's up to you to refute it. To Britain, the British titles, not the Australian New Zealand fabricated fraud titles that are there now, removing the titles and putting them back into the deed titles where they came from in the first place. They are second-hand titles. Lynn's is second-hand titles for making money for themselves and their private companies. A threat against us, the original owners and those three kings, emperors. A threat against our inheritance that we are crawling back now with 970 million trillion trillion pounds on your heads. All of you Mary Trust, trustees, you got bound out on your heap. The birth certificate's worth, worth one trillion pounds on your heap. That's credit company against you, judgment debtors. Judgment creditor, judgment debtors. I make this statement quite clear. In front of the whole world watching. If you don't do anything about it, it's law. I'm waiting for the lawyer, for too many, to sign the documents and seal it to go into the apostolate and the internal affairs, New Zealand government, and the foreign affairs, British, UK government, our partner, our legal, legitimate Navy, British Navy, Lord of the Sea, First Lord of the Sea, Philip Jones. So Philip Jones is our legal partner and legitimate, authenticated seal of King William IV, King George IV, King William the Third, King's Empress, Tarawa's partner, first and second partners to us, the second partner, private contract, nobody's business to inquire into what I say as value against all the debtors right through the world in 250 countries with our 1834 declaration of war, state of emergency flag for threats against our financial investment interests, bank interests and business. The TPPA on the Queen side is a threat against me, the executor of the Manukau Trust, I'm saying in front of you, the Moriori Manukau Maui Trust. I'm the executor of in Mangatauturi Mountain and Pohara Bunga Bunga Marae Trust that I'm setting up myself and the Mihinui family, the Wanoa family. I'm setting that up in that house that I filmed yesterday. 
I'm going to do it all up perfect. The same as Morris's Ratna Church house. I'm going to do it all up perfect. Toddle. Perfected toddles. The rock at Pohara, Marai, is Bunga Bunga, spiritual rock. To Mangatoturi Mountain, Mana Whenua, title holder, British, Empress, partnership, title. As commercial landowners, value, and the native title holders, instruments of authentication and legalization legitimacy okay so that's that um, so I'll carry on uploading these videos one at a time and get on with my day and getting up to Morris's place sort some flags for him for the truck and that's that so be wary of what I do on these videos. On YouTube, they are fact-cited evidence against anyone who cannot produce a title against what I'm putting together online on YouTube. And there's 1,500, and it'll be 1,560 videos altogether. You have to rebut every single one of them. Everyone has a story. Truth, deeds of truth. Maui Crown, Federal State Government of the World. In the Pacific and 250 countries in the world. Under those three kings, emperors, and three baronies. Native titles for the whole indigenous countries in the world. They'll be getting their lands back. The lease is shifting over from the Queen back into the King's Bench Court in Edinburgh and Westminster Magistrate Court and here in Te Waka Native Magistrate Court in Auckland and Tahake Marae Native Magistrate Court in Hokianga <coughs> and also the Punga Punga Marae Native Magistrate Court in Bohara, Cambridge District, County, and the Moriori Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau title hold there, and the Rewhere for Manukau hold in Te Waka Marae in Auckland Central. Title holders, commercial land owners, I'm making this video quite clear to you today, the 7th of February 2018, the day after Waitangi Day. Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand, take note, this notice, that you are now subject to the Maui Crown Federal State Government of this country with our flag, the 1834 Declaration of War Bank flag against third party criminals in your government. I'm accusing you. You are responsible, like you said, hold to account the government. And you said Maori. That's in your court. I'm saying Maui in this court, straight to Britain. You're accountable to Maui. Maori is accountable to Maui. The government that you're running, Jacinda Ardern, is a judgment debtor right now to 970 million trillion trillion pound note, one single pound note, from the judgment creditors, the Moai Crown King William IV Trust and the Moai Crown Trust, Moai Moriori Manukau Trust private companies. Okay, that's apart from being the judgment creditors, it's my responsibility as an executor of that entity that's being sealed at the moment by Fortune Manning and I make this public. I disclose and advertise everything before 
the lawyers or the government, your government, or any other government for that matter, gets it. The public got it first from me. Okay? It's discovered. Everything I'm saying is discovered. You cannot go into a contract when it's already out there. I've got a contract's bounty on people's heads. All of your government ministers have a bounty of a trillion pounds on your head from my birth certificate. That's worth a value of one trillion pound note. That means everybody's birth certificates, right through the world, that's been created by the Rothschild Banks, Bank of England, and Queen Victoria, and Queen Elizabeth II, <coughs> is now judgment debtors, third party interests, threat against the two party contract of these three kings I just said, and the three paramount chiefs I represent as surrogate. To speak for them, on top of that, to speak for St. Patrick, Church Wooder in Belfast, Northern Ireland, as Rogan, Cosgrove, coat of arms, title holder, <coughs> and the Patrick family there, the Cosgrove and the Rogan family from Belfast, is my family heritage, title to instruments that was put together by King William III, <coughs> not of orange, but green, colour from Belfast. Municipalities, the eight point star on my head, on the flag, the four corners of the earth flag, 1834 King William IV flag, bank flag, commercial trading bank flag, military protectorate flag, the British Royal Navy, and Sir Philip Jones, first Lord of the Sea, is his responsibility to protect our bank financial investment interests that is being threatened by this government and previous government's legacy of fraud and destruction, corruption, and the Panama Papers, the Paradise Papers of John Key as Prime Minister, he took off. And he's the director of, one of the directors of Air New Zealand, and he's the chairman of the NZ Bank. They get libeled as well, full on, on the land they're sitting on that belongs to Te Rawakato, Wharehere Hiri Manukau, and he's Mori Uri, Manukau tribe. Pupanga, Manukau tribe, here in Auckland, and Helensville. Okay? That's on one side, and then the Maui on the other side. That's my own Wānoa title memorial. Crown on his head in Dunedin. The Pākehās were very quick to put that there in 1834, put the Moai with the crown on his head to claim the whole of South Island to Pākehā. Well, I have you say, the British are there as tenants, and the French, tenants of Moai crown. You put it there for me. That's what I'm saying. You put my title of Mana Whenua right there for the whole world, because the Queen owns her Maori people. She set up the Iwi Maori tribe of Ngāti Whātua as one tribe, the ISIS equivalent of America setting up an ISIS tribe to overpower all the indigenous native tribes, the same as happened here with Ngāti Whātua, put Maoris in there and made them fight against Ngāpui and Tainui and all Arawa, Ngāti Whātua. All the rest of the tribes fight against Ngāti Whātua, commercial, private contract, landowners, legal landowners. We are legal landowners too, with the Moai Crown King William IV Trust, and the Moai Crown Trust, and the Moai King William IV Trust, and the Moai Manukau Moriori Trust, and now the Hori Tikuri Native Trust of Morris Baker. Those are the true British title holders over this country and 
sets the precedent case to settle up the Queen's accounts and the Rothschild's accounts and bankrupt them. Bankrupt everyone that got in my road doing my job as a surrogate king and a surrogate chief. Okay? It's deadly. You mess around with the king's laws, acts, <clears throat> you get stung with a bill on your head. No compensation, it's straight bill, straight debt judgment against your name in capitals, that's the birth certificate, of a trillion pounds on every one of you who are named, and then on top the land that you're sitting on, occupying only as leased lands to the King's Crown Corporation Trust. Okay, so I'm acting as a partner to the British Crown under the King's Bench Court, not the Queen's Bench Court, the King's Bench Court, creator of all the wealth and the inheritance of the monarchy. I'm clawing all that back and including the Marae at Pohara, claiming all its lands back. As far as the eye can see, that's to Rotorua, Tiki Tere, and on his track, all that area, all the way down to Topol, all the way, anywhere, any single where. So that's what I'm going to say with this video. We'll get on with it now. Have a nice day today. Bye. See you later.